Many people are curious about the past of this world. From the universe's start, our galaxy's birth, the solar system's rise, to man's evolution. But have you ever contemplated about the future of this world? For instance, about events that will happen up until about 4 billion years from now. Just as with studying the past, scientists have made numerous predictions about the future of this world. In this session, we'll explore events that will actually occur up to 4 billion years in the future. Antares, the brightest star shining in the constellation Scorpius. This aging red supergiant will exhaust all its fuel in about 10,000 years. Depleted of all fuel, Antares will inevitably implode and finally turn into a supernova. This supernova blast will be so powerful, it'll likely be visible from Earth with the naked eye. In 15,000 years, the tilt of the Earth's rotation axis will invert. In fact, even now, the angle of Earth's axial tilt is slowly decreasing. With this shift, summers and winters in the Earth's hemispheres will reverse. Moreover, due to polar seasonal changes, the monsoons will shift northward in North Africa. Due to these changes, the climate of the Sahara Desert will shift back to a tropical climate. Even if the Earth's axis were to reverse, there would likely be no significant issues for the sustenance of life on Earth. There is a possibility of extremely large volcanic eruptions that could pose a threat to all life on Earth. Recent research shows 17,000-year intervals between catastrophic volcanic eruptions that endangered civilizations. Therefore, there is a possibility that in up to 20,000 years, a volcanic eruptions may occur that could seriously threaten human civilization. If such an event occurs, human civilization could regress to a primitive state. By this time, the night sky we know would undergo significant changes. Over the course of 100,000 years, the countless stars that once filled the night sky would continuously move and eventually vanish completely from our view. However, on the contrary, new stars would emerge in the night sky, forming new constellations. The star VY Canis Majoris, which has captivated scientists' attention, will explode as a supernova. This colossal star, with a mass over 2,000 times that of the Sun, will spectacularly vanish, scattering elements like gold or platinum into space. By then, the remaining humans may have acquired highly advanced technologies. Humanity will then reach a stage where they can civilize other planets and moons beyond Earth. Mars, a planet that has been long studied and explored, may be the first to undergo successful terraforming. Through terraforming, humans can create environments capable of supporting life. During this period, a new volcanic island will emerge on Earth. The name of this island will be Roihi, and it will appear at southeast of Hawaii. If the core of a star is large enough, it can emit gamma rays when it explodes as a supernova. These gamma rays can typically carry millions of times more energy than visible light. Such emission of gamma rays is referred to as a gamma ray burst. The massive star WR104 will explode as a supernova in around 500,000 years. During this event, it will unleash an extremely powerful gamma ray burst. Although highly improbable, if a gamma ray burst were to head towards Earth, it would result in a catastrophic disaster. Scientists have predicted that an asteroid with a diameter of one kilometer will collide with Earth. If the asteroid collides with Earth, it could create a 400 km plus volcanic caldera. Due to this event, Earth will experience significant turmoil, and the air could become highly polluted, making breathing challenging. 
However, there is also a possibility that humanity will possess the technology to detect and potentially destroy or alter the trajectory of such asteroids in advance. Without the completion of such technology by then, Earth could potentially enter another ice age. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant that shines brightly in the constellation of Orion. One million years later, Betelgeuse is highly likely to explode as a supernova. And for at least several months, Earth will be able to witness its incredibly bright spectacle. Furthermore, scientists predict that the Iranian moons, Desdemona and Cressida, will eventually collide with Uranus. The collision will severely alter Uranus' orbit, causing major disruptions. An enormous amount of time has passed. Despite no major extinction events, numerous organisms will be extinct due to background extinction. Species that survive background extinction will gradually evolve into new forms and thrive. Additionally, the Uranian moons, Cupid and Belinda, would have collided with Uranus. The event will cause significant disruptions in Uranus' orbit once again. Mars and its moon Phobos will eventually collide with each other. The collision will have a profound impact on Mars, scattering countless fragments into space. This event will have enduring impacts on neighboring planets, affecting them in many ways. Scientists have long predicted this event, potentially leading to a delay in the terraforming of Mars until now. It is also possible that Phobos may be destroyed earlier as part of a planetary defense system. there is a high likelihood of Earth colliding with a 10 kilometers asteroid. Asteroids of this size have indeed collided with Earth in the distant past. The asteroid impact resulted in the extinction of many dinosaurs that existed on Earth. How about in this future? After 100 million years, Saturn's rings will mostly vanish from our view. The Sun's brightness will increase by about 1% compared to now. A powerful gamma-ray burst will occur within a distance of 6,000 light-years. Despite previous lucky escapes, the nearby gamma-ray burst poses a highly lethal threat to Earth. This gamma-ray burst will obliterate Earth's ozone layer, and solar radiation is set to disrupt the photosynthesis of plants. In the end, this event will erase countless life on Earth. Note, the 500 million years refers to the maximum timeline for this event to occur. That is, this event could happen at any point within 500 million years. We have had a lot going on. The sun's luminosity has reached 10%, pushing Earth's surface temperature beyond 47 degrees. Also, the rapid drop in carbon dioxide levels has made plant survival increasingly difficult. Naturally, many animals have sequentially faced mass extinction. Additionally, 27% of the oceans have already been absorbed into the mantle, and if this continues, soon 65% of the oceans will vanish. Would humanity still remain on Earth during this period? Since then, the Moon has drifted further from Earth, no longer influencing the tilt of Earth's rotation axis. The Earth's rotation axis changes rapidly, causing extreme seasonal shifts and great chaos. Moreover, as Earth's inner core continues to grow, the outer core's temperature drops sharply, ultimately solidifying. This led to the disappearance of Earth's magnetic field, with solar-emitted charged particles gradually depleting the atmosphere. Now, even at the poles, Earth's temperature surpasses 147 degrees. Even the microorganisms that once thrived in high altitudes and deep caves have gradually disappeared. During this period, 
for the first time, the Andromeda Galaxy made a close passage with our own galaxy. Is humanity still present on Earth during this period? If humanity still exists during this period, they would witness the most magnificent event in history in the night sky. Indeed, it refers to the event when our galaxy, the Milky Way, collides with the Andromeda Galaxy. Billions of stars will collide and merge, giving rise to new planetary systems that will emerge and eventually vanish. Earth is now part of Melkometa, the merged galaxy of the Milky Way and Andromeda. While Earth's night sky remains stunningly beautiful, its surface has transformed into a living hell. Now, all the water that once existed on Earth has evaporated and disappeared. As a result, the intense greenhouse effect has raised the Earth's temperature to the point where it can melt rocks. During that period, Earth's surface temperature rises to a scorching 1130 degrees, with the sun shining 35 to 40 percent brighter than present. During that time, Earth's appearance closely resembles the ancient state of its twin planet, Venus. Now, there are no longer any living organisms remaining in this place.